Leo, this is your sneak peek into 2023. So what I've done is I've picked cards for the, uh, picked a card for the beginning, the middle, and the end of the year. Uh, I also clarified those with two cards and then pulled some Oracle as well. The major theme for you this year, I believe is going to bring back um, emotion into your life. I know that's an interesting thing to say, but um, I don't want to get in the word poetic as well, making things a little bit more um, through feeling, through through joy, through, um, you know, sweetness, emotion, um, things like that. It seems like there's going to be a real head and kind of heart almost um, battle with you this year where you've got to really pull back on some of this maybe overthinking or pull back on this kind of, um, you know, getting anxiety here as well, causing you to kind of lose track of your emotions. So what this year is going to be for you is kind of really holding to that sweetness, to that emotion um, of yourself here and not getting lost in thought or getting lost um, in things like that and kind of logic here. We got to kind of um, maybe do some things that kind of make us happier, um, you know, um, start to be happy with life or things in life. I don't know I'm getting that. We have surrender to the sweetness here as one of the cards and adjacent possibilities. And I feel like it's just more of this kind of perception almost changing um, here for you because we have a lot of um, cups that are upright, so a lot of emotion, and we have a lot of swords, energy, our intellect, um, our brain kind of power here, air sign energy that's in reversed. So beginning of this year, I think what is kind of happening here is we, we were trying to manifest what our year is going to look like for ourselves um, and kind of make it Leo like what we are... Um, what we will kind of want to see, what we want to kind of bring in here. We have the magician um, energy down here, which is about manifesting. Understand that you can make your life whatever it is here you, that you want it to be. And some of that has to do with kind of the sweetness here. There is the page of cups. So some of uh, you might be going on dates or someone might be asking you out for those that are single. If those that are not, I feel like people might be doing some sweet gestures for you right now um, or things to kind of show their love to you. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of seeing that. We do have the Queen of Swords here in reverse, which means there's a little bit of overthinking going on, a little bit of anxiety, a little bit being too much in your head, um, paranoid kind of energy here as well. So we need to kind of um, remove ourselves from this energy here because this Queen of Swords in reverse energy, it's cold energy, it's kind of low vibrating. It doesn't allow us to um, appreciate and love the kind of the sweetness that we have because we're so stuck in our head and kind of the chatter that's going on here. So that's beginning of the year. So I just want you to kind of um, look for the little joys in life look for the little um pleasures you know the things that make you feel good the things that you're grateful for that you're thankful for connect to that emotional side and get kind of out of that head um because you do have the power in the beginning of the year to manifest whatever it is that you want here middle of the year it looks like a new job is coming in for you or promotion or a little bit more money um here again king of cups i feel like you've been on this kind of emotional journey here um whatever this king kind of represents someone who's really like emotionally stable um i think this will kind of come in with this energy of um the uh ace of pentacles here if you're working on the sweetness if you're working on this kind of emotional state for yourself i feel like more opportunity is going to come um in for you here okay we have the page of swords reversed which means there might be someone eyeing you um for this maybe it is for this promotion as well um but they just really are attracted to your energy and the kind of kind of person you are so again make sure that we are kind of vibrating high that we are kind of putting that kind of emotional sweetness um out there leo because it seems like someone you someone might have their eye on you but they're not coming forward to say anything yet um but they might just be watching you i don't want you to get freaked out about that but it just seems like again maybe someone's eyeing you up for a promotion or someone's kind of um, seeing the person you are before offering you something something like that okay so I just want you to um, you know spend this year with an open heart and kind of um, you know really let that emotional side be shown of yourself here okay end of the year there's something here that we are and it's funny because um, I think Gemini uh, just got this 
or cancer's got this as well. There's opportunities that the universe is trying to give to you, but you are so fixated on your agenda that you're not seeing those coming in. And they're saying that you need, especially in the end of the year, you need to prioritize your rest um, and your health here, okay? Um, that means just whatever you gotta do um, to prioritize that, that is gonna be way more important than anything else here because the universe is gonna bring opportunities towards you, right? Um, gonna bring new things for you here. Um, but if we're so fixated on, you know, and not being open to what the universe or, or having adjacent possibilities here, or different doors were opening for us. If we just kind of fixate on these three cups here, fixate on the things that we already know or see for ourselves, we're not letting new opportunity can come in. And the King of Swords is represented here as well in reverse. So again, back to some of that kind of anxiety again. So maybe something happens here where it causes our anxiety to just kind of skyrocket again, or we start overthinking again. Again, just return to the sweetness, return to, um, you know, getting your rest, enjoying your life. Um, and, and, and feeling that instead of worrying so much or being anxious. That's kind of the energy I'm getting through the whole year. We also have the Four of Wands here. So some of you might be going to weddings. Um, there might be like a wedding celebration um, at the end of the year, um, or it could be coming home. Maybe you're spending some time in your hometown or something like that. Um, maybe some of you are moving to where you kind of uh, moving home in a way, um, whatever that represents for you. Maybe someone's having a baby at the end of the year as well. Again, all this can kind of happen for you for this year, but this year is all about that sweetness. So enjoy it.